So, I just got really, really, really lucky. Um, and this is a good, this would be a good lesson for people, especially herbers, about snakes and snake hunting. Uh, I lifted this piece of plywood. Well, there's three here, you see. Well, watch. And I kid you not, I had my foot, let's see, right, right here. And I put my fingers right here to lift and I couldn't lift. I realized I had a third piece and I went to lift right here and there was a, it was a little copperhead and he was coiled up right there. And my fingers are right here and he's right there and I'm looking right in his eyes and I dropped and moved my foot and fortunately he didn't strike. Uh, and that would have been a very, very painful, troublesome bite. Let's see this little guy. So when you, when you pull wood up, it's good to be kind of behind it, like so. See, there he is. Now see, if, if I pull that up and I'm in front, if I'm standing over there in front of it and I pull it up, he can strike at me. If he feels the heat of my ankle, they go for heat and movement. You see? So now... Problem, see? Uh, is that a beautiful little copperhead? Sure is. That strike. Yeah, I almost got some fangs in me from that little guy. And uh, he spared me. He gave me a pass this time, <clears throat> and I'm very thankful. He didn't. He didn't. He wasn't even curl back. He curled after I put my foot there. Yeah, a little too close, there, buddy. Oh my God! He's coming after me. Get a little too close, buddy. You see him trying to get coiled up a little bit so he can strike? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Those bellies. Yeah. Well, there's a pretty, pretty woman. Mama girl. <laughs> Whoops. Hi. Hey. What you got? Oh, got the head. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that? Right over there under that uh, wood. Almost got bitten. Ooh. Came re came in a couple of inches away. Right, could you imagine that right on the fingertips? Ooh. That'd be nice. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, little guy! <laughs> you, wanna, you wanna play with him? Here, I'll bring him over to you. No, that's okay. Yeah, I put, I went to, uh, I went to lift that wood, and he was right where I put my fingers. And he just happened to not bite me. <laughs> Did he shake his tail? No, but he stopped. <laughs> Guess what I have? What? 
the Exo gun. Man hat. <laughs> My new hat. <laughs> <laughs> Run along. It's really pretty. Yeah. I think we're going to see a lot more of them because we've been having mild winters, you know? Yeah. I think they're going to eat the deer flies? No. <laughs> they don't need that stuff. They want something warm like you. Or a mouse. Hey, fella. Mm hmm. Be nice, okay? Hmm. Not in a nice mood, man. <laughs> so cool. You can see him breathing. Yeah. You can see the pits right between his eyes and his nose. Those are his heat sensors. He's a pit viper. I don't want you coming near my foot like that. All right. So how was your day? It was good. Let me see your pretty nails. You got your nails did? Mm -hmm. Oh, to match your water bottle, mm -hmm. huh? Oh, see this pretty. stripe? That makes him look metallic. Oh yeah. Wow. Matching. You're a, you're kind of a purple. Hey, hey! <laughs> you're not gonna go hide and bite me later. Uh -uh. You, you you're going this guy. So er, people who watch our channel know that we don't kill snakes. Um, we don't baby them either. We just take them and put them far away <laughs> from our house. And, and other people and there's a lot of places where we can do that around here because we live in the country so I can take this guy way out into the pine forest and uh, and drop him off oh, my son is running and that's what I'll do I just I just did a video about a big rat snake eating my uh, chicken eggs and uh, I captured him and put him away and uh, my my son brought him to the woods behind his work where there's no chickens or eggs, huh? And let him go. But this guy goes, right now he goes into a holding aquarium. We have, we keep an aquarium here. We keep all kinds of holding areas, like that's a holding area for wayward animals. And sometimes we get them, we see it all. We get, we get uh, dogs and I catch fox sometime. I have one time I caught a fox. Yeah, you get all kinds of critters out here. And sometimes you get to hold on to them till you have time to do something with them. Okay, Medusa. In there. Watch you out smartly here. Good, be good boy. Good girl. People ask me about my uh, handlers, by the way. My uh, snake handlers, my tongs. I have these tongs that I bought online. These are probably 35 bucks or so. You wouldn't want to handle a big, large gaboon viper or timber rattler with that, but it's okay for a short copperhead. I'm very familiar with copperheads so on shorter snakes, so they, they don't. They don't have much more of a strike range than that. People think that's really short, but it's actually not. Because you're going, you're you're coming at them with that, and you do have. Well, get a long one if you uh, if you're not familiar with venomous reptiles. And this one is just as effective for me. It's easier to actually trap the snake and, and pick it up by the head if I want to handle it, because I can push this part down on the head like so and trap it. And then you can you can scoop the snake up and handle it with that. This I made this out of a golf club. Let's see, and I just uh, bonded it together. Piece of aluminum I bent into a snake hook. I was completely wet with sweat. 
trying not to let my hair wing out. <laughs> Wiping myself down in the bathroom, trying to get the sweat all dried up. Bathroom where? At the gym. Oh, so you worked out hard, huh? Yeah, and then you I had work to run out right all the time. Well, I had to run right from there to get my nails done. And I was like, poor people. Oh, so I squirted myself with perfume. Let me smell. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it actually probably smells pretty good. 